What the heck? Tommy, we come to take you, Jasper. What are you talking about? That makes no sense. Alien invasions, alien abductions. That's a U.S. thing. Go to the U.S. Go. I'm from Singapore. You're in the wrong side of the earth. Not wrong side. You are the best deck reviewer in the world. Do deck review for us. No, alien guy. Stop it. Stop it, stop it. I'm not doing any deck reviews just because you threatened me. I'm not doing any of that shit. You say shit. We can pay you in shit. One thousand shit. Nah. A thousand shit? What are you talking about? That makes no sense. Stop it. Stop it. Get some help. Do you think this is a good thing to me? You, you, what am I supposed to do with a thousand shits? Like, build a shit snowman? Like, build a, a, a sand shit castle? What are you talking about? Take your shit, take your shit away from here! I don't want your shit! Uh, it's nasty! Stop! But you are so handsome! You can use shit! You're so good looking and handsome and six pack stop and stuff! It, stop it, you! Stop it! You gotta Come be on, a stop D. it! And your Stop hair it. bun is cool. Come on. And your biceps. Oh man, biceps. Oh, so nice. Fine, fine, fine. I'll do your deck review. Stop it, man. Stop it. Stop it, you. Stop. Morning, guys. What's going on? It's me, online brother Jasper Zach, and welcome back to the vlog. Yes. Today, we've been abducted by aliens. A sentence that I never thought I would have to say, but. This is the world we live in now. I know, I know, right now the wall behind me looks like it's the NDO studio space, but that really isn't the case. Like if I move off to the side here, you can tell that this is all just a simulation, a projection by the alien spaceship. Yeah, it is what it is. I've also been on this spaceship for about three days now, so um, kind of close friends with Tommy. Say hi, Tommy. Hi, guys. Apparently, aliens have a bad rap among like on earth right now and because of that they are trying to do some kind of PR stunt to improve people's opinions of aliens on earth and part of their first initiative is to create a deck of playing <laughs> this script is ridiculous it's absolutely ridiculous is to create a deck of playing cards so that people uh, the humans of humanity will love aliens even more let's check it out boom boom packed with paper two decks of playing cards is that all? No stickers? Nope. In the box, we have two decks of playing cards. These are playing cards titled Ace Invaders. It looks like this on the front and this on the back. On the back, there's a picture of Tommy with the words, take me to your dealer. Um, a play obviously on Space Invaders as well as uh, take me to your leader. What, which which sci-fi was that? I think it's uh, Invasion of the Martians maybe? Here's a close-up shot of the card, so you can take a look at the details on the box. Here's the front, spaceship at the top, shooting down light beams that says Ace Invaders. At the bottom of the cards, there's aliens in the form of diamonds, clubs, hearts, and spades. On the back of the box, you can see Take Me to Your Leader, uh, Dealer rather, and the hearts, Tommy. Cellophane opens up real easy. Sides of the cards look like this and this very nice on the bottom of the box we can see that this deck of playing cards is printed by penguin magic oh i guess the aliens got to penguin magic as well huh now i'm not sure how many of you guys would know this but check this out if you look really really close at the printing at the parts where there's a gradient you can see multiple small dots that forms up the colors of the of the printing process if you look really closely at the printing of the cards you'll be able to see like micro dots that appears on the surface on the printing of the cards in the printing process of playing cards there's basically two ways you can achieve 
your printing. The first one is the Pendle method, which is the method that most of you guys are pro probably familiar with. All the one color back deck designs all use this method of printing. In fact, this method of printing allows you to use up to four colors easily. The second method of printing the cards uses the classic CMYK technique. Think like your home printer, but an industrial professional level printer instead. When using the CMYK technique, you basically have the basic four colors. C, cyan, M, magenta, Y is yellow, and K refers to black. Why is it not B? Because RGB is blue. I, I guess, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why it's not B, it's just B. So yeah, this deck of playing cards in an effort to create this beautiful array of colors that appears on the box of the cards, has decided not to use the Pantone technique, but instead use the CMYK printing technique. The seal of the playing cards features three different UFOs in red, yellow, and blue. If you're wondering why we suddenly switched to this wall as opposed to the previous location that I was filming at, um, the main reason for that is because one of my lighting equipment ran out of battery. <laughs> so I chose to sit closer to the window right here so that I can get just a little bit more light. Borderless! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! I love it when card companies take a risk and make borderless playing cards. Wow, what a deck design, holy crap. Two jokers, the first one being this one. Uh, it features an alien with his hands out. And next one features him with a card revelation of the two of hearts. To add cards and the add cards, just like the previous decks of playing cards by Penguin Magic feature one double backer as well as one blank card. Looking at the faces of the cards, you can notice that the background of the cards is off-white. It's a little creamy looking color. And this customized Ace of Spades is a spades that looks like an alien. Next up, the two of spades. Ooh, one customized. This is the dealer's grip special. Very nice. Three of spades. Four of spades features two aliens over here. So slightly different from a dealer's grip special after all. Four of spades, five of spades, six of spades. 7 of spades only has 1 alien, but the 6 and the 5 has 2. Hmm. 7 of spades, 8 of spades, 9 of spades, 10. Jack. Whoa, look at that. Holy crap. First up, the Jack of spades is wearing some kind of um, helmet to help him have his oxygen or his air that he breathes. Next up, he's holding a lightsaber in the background. Probably a Star Wars reference, maybe, perhaps. Customized uh, bits and pieces on the Jack of Spades design. And if you look closely right behind the head of the Jack of Spades, you can see an air tube going backwards. It looks really, really cool. And finally, and I think the most interesting detail, if you look at the spade over here, around it there's this white color stroke that goes around it. It gives this card a really interesting look. I like it. I like it super cool. Queen of Spades, whoa, look at the amount of details on it. King of Spades, nice. Ace of Diamonds, two of Diamonds, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jack of Diamonds. Much less colorful looking, much less intense looking. Oh, oh, and I almost forgot to mention, if you look at the corners here, they rounded the corners on the cord card backing. Really interesting. Queen of Diamonds, King of Diamonds, King of Clubs. Yo, Tommy, is that your dad? King of Clubs, Queen of Clubs, Jack of Clubs, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Ace. King of Hearts, Queen, Jack, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Ace. Now that we've looked at the faces of the cards, let's take a look at the backs of the cards. Jang Jang! Look at that! It's so intense, there's so much detail, there's so much uh, different spaceships all over the design. And look at how these red spaceships are close to the edges of the cards. That means that if we fan the cards... Wow! What a beaut! What a beaut! Hey Tommy, when you asked me to do this deck review, I thought that the deck of playing cards was gonna look like shit, but... In actual fact, 
I actually really like this deck of playing cards, holy crap. <laughs> Dropping in real quick, the secret word to add if you want me to know that you've made it all the way through the video is alien. Find a way to put the word alien in your comment if you want me to know that you've watched the video the entire way through. Okay, bye. Back to the review. Typical USPCC, the way they feel. Typical USPCC, it's up to... It's up to standards, you know. It's the typical USPCC looking, feeling cards. Alright. The cards are a little bit stiffer than crushed stock USPCC playing cards, but not by much. They fail from a bottom to top direction like this. The surface of the cards. Yeah, it's typical USPCC. <laughs> There's not much I can say about uh, the way the cards feel because basically the cards feel like USPCC cards, you know. There's not much to say about that. If you look right down the edge, immediately you can see one of these lines appear right here. And that's because of my hand sweat and the humidity in the air. I think that's a typical problem for USPCC cards in countries like Singapore where the humidity is super duper high. Looking at the edges, we can see that USPCC once again messed up the cutting of the cards by just a little bit. Like you can see a few of the cards are a little bit higher than lower than higher than lower. Sure, if USPCC was a small company, maybe I would understand. But it has been years. By now, surely they could have solved it. Come on USPCC, get down to it. Anyways, USPCC rent aside, take a look at the backs of these cards. These cards look freaking amazing. Like, in an under pressure, boom, the cards just sliding across this red UFO going from one side to the other. Looks absolutely awesome. These cards look absolutely awesome in fans. I love how they look. They look so visually interesting. Like, just take a look at that. Tell me you're not intrigued. The real question is, how do the cards look in cuts? After all, from what we've learned in the 2018-2019 explosion of borderless decks of playing cards, we've learned that borderless playing cards tend to look a little bit difficult to read when you're using it in cards. Because the white lines that go around a deck of playing cards helps you visually tell apart which packet is which packet, which packet is above and which packet is below. Let's see if this deck of playing cards faces the same problem that most borderless playing cards tend to face. So let's do some simple cards right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's do uh, 5 faces of Sybil. From what I can see on the small screen that is right beside the camera, you know the, the flippy out screen. The details on this back design really does make it a little bit more difficult for us to see the details in two-handed cards. That's quite interesting. I was thinking that the red borders, the, the red UFOs that sort of form a border around the card would allow us to tell the difference between packets and it would be quite smart and genius design. However, it seems like from this small screen that the red is a bit too sparsely placed and because of that, it makes it still difficult to read the borders of the cards. I actually really, really like how this deck of playing cards turned out and would take this deck of playing cards over your typical age lot, edgy teenager deck design any day. This deck of playing cards looks super cool and looks super fun and looks super great. Especially you boys that only buy hype beast decks. Like, yeah. Pick up one of these decks of playing cards and play with it for a while and see if you get converted. It might not be your cup of tea, but at least you have new experience, right? Ace Invaders. Recommended. Alright guys, so there you have it. That was our deck review for Ace Invaders. The way the cards look, not in motion, as well as in fans, looks absolutely stupendous. Amazing. Splendid. I really, really enjoy this deck of playing cards. And I hope you guys do too. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, we are giving away 12 decks of playing cards in due time. All 12 decks of playing cards are going to be cards that are reviewed on our channel, on this channel. So, leave a comment in the comment section below if you want to join the giveaway. And if you want to score extra points, don't forget to subscribe, hit like, and 
turn on notifications. Until next time guys, I'm Online Brother Jasper's deck. We are six decks into the mystery brick giveaway. That means six more deck reviews and we'll be choosing a lucky winner among all the comments. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.